Hello, welcome back to Tips and Tricks Tuesday, which is now going to be every other Tuesday. Today we're going to be talking about some cool features that are in the ta that have to do with tables. Now, tables, of course, have been in AutoCAD for quite a few releases, but I find that so few people know about the features that I'm about to show you. Unless, of course, you're an Excel expert. <laughs> and let's face it, a lot of us CAD users don't use Excel that much, so we wouldn't naturally know about them. But we're going to take a look at a feature called Autofill. You're really, really going to like this. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to zoom in on this table here that we have. And let's say my goal is to duplicate 1.8 in all of the cells that are underneath it. So of course I could go into each individual cell and I could key it in, but that certainly doesn't sound like any fun. Well, using the new autofill feature, I can get AutoCAD to fill it in for me automatically. And it's super, super easy. I'm going to go ahead and highlight this cell, and I want you to notice this light blue box right there. And if I, if I move my cursor over that blue, kind of like a diamond shape, you'll see it gives me this tooltip that says click and drag to autofill cells. Oh, that sounds easy enough. Let's see, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab that, and I'm going to move my cursor straight down and click again and you will see that it automatically fills in all those cells with 1.8, saving me lots of time, which always makes me happy. Now, more than likely what you would probably really like it to do would to do some automatic numbering. That would be really nice. For example, here I have a 1 and a 2, and maybe I'd like it to go 3, 4, 5, 6, etc. Well, you can get autofill to do the same thing. In this case, you're going to highlight two cells so that you can form a pattern. I'm going to use my shift key to grab that extra cell. So now there's a pattern, so it knows it needs to increment by 1. Same idea, I grab that blue diamond, I click it, and I just simply move it down all the way through all the cells that I want it to do. And I want you to notice that it automatically numbers for me. I love that. That saves me lots of time. And that is called autofill. And incidentally, if you're an Excel person and you didn't know that exists, that also exists in Excel. So technically, this is kind of an Excel tip too. Okay, the other thing I'm going to show you is sometimes you might run into a situation where you want a hard enter. And you can't just hit an enter because it's as you fill in information because it's going to go down to the next cell underneath it. So, th so I'm going to go ahead and just type in line one here. And I would like to do a hard enter. I want to put some more text in the same cell directly beneath this. If you hold down the Alt key and the Enter key, it will allow you very easily to include an additional line. And you can, of course, continue to do that. So that's Alt Enter. That's also, of course, something that you can do inside of Excel. So that is my tip, the, or a variety of tips for, uh, for your Tuesday. I hope that you enjoy them, and I'll see you back in a couple of weeks.